This is the Nokia Lumia 800, the first of a new breed from the Finnish giants aiming to give the company a fresh lease of life in an increasingly competitive smartphone market. But has this device done enough to warrant the title of the first true Windows phone, as Stephen Elop so boldly put it at Nokia World earlier this year? A brief look at the device and you'd be forgiven for mistaking it for the meager running Nokia N9. And in truth, the two devices share some commonalities, primarily in their tapered polycarbonate unibodies and convex screens. The Lumia 800's front is filled primarily by the aforementioned curved Gorilla Glass, protecting a 3.7 inch AMOLED display with the all important back, start and search keys along the bottom and an earpiece at the top. The tapered sides of the polycarbonate frame keep things clean with the right side housing chrome volume rocker, lock power and camera shutter keys and the left devoid of any controls at all. The display is smaller than the 3.9 inch unit on the N9 and it's almost half as bright at its maximum brightness though it still delivers the same impressively deep blacks and wide viewing angles. Along the top conceals both the micro USB port and next to it the micro SIM slot as well as an exposed 3.5mm standard audio jack, just like the N9. The bottom is again decidedly bare except for a loudspeaker grill and a microphone. And finally, the smooth back of the 800 mirrors its Mego twin, with a centrally mounted Carl Zeiss certified 8 megapixel camera unit equipped with a dual LED flash directly above. Whichever your choice of 800, be it black, cyan or magenta, the polycarbonate frame is injected so that the colour runs throughout the mould, meaning chips and general wear won't show up as readily as they might have done with the surface coating of paint. There's even a colour coordinated silicon case in the retail box for extra protection, which is a thoughtful sense touch that comes as a welcome inclusion. Looking under the hood, the Lumia sits at the upper end of Windows Phone devices currently on the market, utilising a 1.4GHz single core Scorpion processor, 512MB of RAM and an Adreno 205 GPU. There's also a host of connectivity options as expected with Wi-Fi BGN, Bluetooth 2.1, HSDPA and HSUPA support and 16 gigs of internal user memory. Unfortunately, Windows Phone doesn't yet easily allow for expandable SD memory and the Lumia wasn't fortunate enough to share in the 64GB capacity option like the N9, so 16GB is the only option available for this device. Obviously, Windows Phone's Metro UI makes navigating the Lumia 800 quick, clean and simple with key applications pinned to the start screen and the full library of installed apps available by simply swiping right. As the 800 runs the latest iteration of Windows Phone Mango 7.5, there's also quick application switching when you hold the back button, which is a welcome addition to the OS's functionality. The OS operates on the notion of hubs as the go-to, rather than just apps, so the picture hub not only allows you access to images on your phone, from your SkyDrive and from Facebook and other social networks, but also acts as a shortcut to any photo editing applications you might have and so on. The gallery viewer itself is clean as expected and you can easily pinch or double tap to zoom in on full resolution photos. Where Windows Phone does still restrict is with sharing content. You can share any photos or videos from your device via email, social networks or SkyDrive, but there's no control over the compression that outgoing media undergoes. It's a small issue for social use, but could be seen as restrictive for power users. The video player too is clean and user friendly, but it doesn't offer a huge amount of playback support, even leaving AVI's DivX and XVID out in the cold. So you'll likely find yourself converting videos to MP4 via Sune's desktop client in order to take your movies with you. Music is one key aspect where the Lumia 800 differentiates itself from other Windows Phone devices. As well as the standard Zune music player and marketplace, the 800 is the first and only Windows Phone currently available with Nokia Music, giving you access to a separate 15 million tracks, available for streaming, download, and to keep things interesting, it also has an inbuilt location-based gig finder, allowing you to check out when and where your favourite artists are playing, or to see if you're missing out on a new band playing right around the corner. It's a very neat feature that really helps the app stand out as a whole, and in turn pushes that sense of differentiation that the Nokia Windows phones need. As well as consuming media, you'll no doubt want to create some of your own too, and the Lumia's camera does a decent job at meeting your needs. Nokia's have in the past wowed with their camera quality, most notably with the N8's 12 megapixel behemoth. The Lumia opts for a more conservative Carl Zeiss endowed 8 megapixel snapper, sporting a 28mm focal length and an f2.2 aperture. There's also touch to focus, automatic and manual white balance control, and exposure compensation. The 800 actually shares this hardware with the capable N9, but there are notable differences in the results, primarily with colour noise. Despite this, the picture quality is good, with decent colour reproduction and impressive dynamic range. There's a lot of control on the video side of things too, including the option to use the dual LED flash as a video light, which is nice. The 800 records 720p HD video at 30 frames a second in good lighting conditions. Results can get a little choppier in gloomier environments, so it would have been nice to see more capable video. There's also stereo sound and continuous autofocus, but again, this needs a little work as it tends to hunt excessively. The web browser hasn't brought anything extra over other Windows phones. There's tab browsing, maxed out at 6 tabs, HTML5 support, and the clean UI with an auto-hiding URL bar to free up screen real estate. Where it does excel though is performance, 
performance. The 800's iteration of Internet Explorer has been tweaked and tuned by its engineers with hardware acceleration for smooth browsing and video playback, as well as a retooled JavaScript engine. There are still some omissions that we would like to see, like text reflow, but it certainly is a competent mobile browser that wouldn't disappoint. We've looked at Nokia Music, but the Lumia 800 has two other unique applications that only Nokia Windows phones will ever be able to offer consumers, Nokia Maps and Nokia Drive. Nokia Maps offers an alternative to the inbuilt Bing Maps. It lets you view maps in three different modes, map, satellite and public transport. It only offers 2D mode though, there's no 3D option like Google Maps has for example. One other slight flaw is that the service doesn't allow for offline use, so you'll need an internet connection at all times until Nokia issues an update. The other half of the duo is a little more of a talking point however. Nokia Drive is a no-nonsense sat-nav application unique to Nokia Windows phones. Currently, the Lumia is in fact the only Windows phone able to offer voice-guided satellite navigation free of charge. Unlike its Maps counterpart, there's 2D and 3D view modes, day and night view modes, clear visual and voice commands, and maps are available for offline use, all for free. Each map file is small too, making economic use of that 16 gigs of user memory. Functionality and navigation options are a bit limiting compared to Nokia's feature-rich Symbian equivalent, but it's functional, and again, most importantly for Nokia, a key differentiating feature. The Lumia 800 is an excellent example of a Windows phone, and a good alternative if you shun the likes of iOS and Android. It demonstrates how the operating system has matured, how the marketplace has grown, and also shows Nokia's wealth of expertise is in no way being squandered. It does its job as Nokia's new flag bearer and carriers have deemed it a popular device. It won't dethrone any of the market leaders, but it delivers on what the company needed, change. And the Lumia might be the start of something great for the Finns. Find our full in-depth review of the Nokia Lumia 800 at gsmarina.com.